Hi everyone, um, this week I'd like to look at using the iPad to create artwork. Um, I often think the iPad is overlooked when it comes to creating artwork, but it's a really fantastic tool to use to create really brilliant digital artwork, but also mix the analog with the digital. So bringing real world into the iPad and creating things that way. Now there are lots of things that you can do in terms of iPad art, um, but today I'm going to show you a really nice, uh, really simple one, which is really good for English, for characters, um, but it's also uh, with the transition day coming up for new classes, it's also a really lovely thing to do with a new class. It creates a lovely display. Um, if you get your class like, like I do for about two hours on transition day, uh, come in, do a few really nice activities, um, get them to upload it onto Seesaw or AirDrop it back to you, print it out, you've got a fantastic display ready for the first week back. So um, here I'm going to show you, in this particular one, I'm going to show you how to use Keynote to create some artwork, but um, lots of free great tools like Sketches School, Paper, um, especially Keynote, but lots of other things. And this will be the first in a series of all ones. So here's how to create uh, some personalized artwork um, using Keynote. As always, um, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you think, if you've got any questions, uh, any feedback's great, um, please leave them down below in the comments. So for the purposes of this, you will need to take a selfie. Now, it's best to take a selfie with a pretty blank background, so uh, a background that's all just one colour. I've just taken a selfie just for the purposes of this here before. It's not the greatest selfie as there's a bit of glare on the glasses and the quality's not the greatest, but uh, it will be good enough to show you what I'm trying to show you. So I'm going to open Keynote and I'm going to start a new blank presentation and I'm going to go for white just in case I decide that once I've got this all ready, in fact sometimes it's quite nice to do this with felt tip pens as well as alongside the iPad so you, you can see the difference and see how it works. So I'm going to add that, that little selfie in that I've just taken. So I'm going to go photo and video, I'm going to go to selfies, and I'm going to hit that in there. And what you'll see is it fills my slide. Now what I want to do is, you will you will recall from previous videos maybe, that um, I removed the background using Instant Alpha. So I'm going to tap the photograph to make sure that it's all selected. And it's got the blue dots around the outside. I'm going to hit the paintbrush. I am going to select image. And I'm going to go to Instant Alpha and I'm going to push my finger on the background as carefully as possible to remove some of that background. Now, I've got to be very gentle with this because it is quite tricky. And there will be little bits that are ever so slightly missing. And we'll just do it as best as we can. It doesn't matter if it's 100% perfect. I'm going to make that slightly bigger. And now, what I want to do is I want to cut my face in half so I only want half of my face. So. What I can do is while I am on the paintbrush in image, I can edit the mask, which brings up that option on the bottom of the bar, done. Or the quick way to do this is to double tap the photograph and you get that bar on the bottom. And what that means is when you drag it ever so slightly in, it crops the photo. So I want it to be about there. So I just have half a photo uh, ready there to go. Now, a great feature of Keynote, which I'm not sure if you do know, is if you open the photographs on the side, and you drag your photo, put your finger on the photo and drag it into the photos, it will save it without the background, it'll save it as you've cropped it. So you can see now my photograph there has been saved like this, which is great if you want to print it out on a piece of paper, um, although you can screenshot this. So first of all, I have done the first bit of prep, which is my face cut in half with the background removed. Next step that I'm going to do is um, I am going to use the draw feature to draw the other side of my face. So I'm going to hit the plus, I'm going to hit the draw, and I have got my tools on the bottom there. I've got my felt tip pen, I've got a pencil, I've got a crayon, I've got this tube that looks like the toothpaste is the fill tool, which is incredibly useful. Rubber and the lasso tool is I can draw around things, cut it, resize them, move them, erase them, lots of great things here. So I'm going to tap on this one here. And I want to just make sure it's just about the right thickness. And I am going to select that one. And I'm going to try and draw the second half of my face. I'm doing this very roughly, as you can imagine. Kids will 
take a bit of time with this. So straight away, I've got one side there, one half ready to go. And you could add any other patterns on the outside. Now, obviously, that's not the greatest, but it is a nice little. Um, it is a nice little activity. It's interesting to see what the class come up with, the colours that they use, all those kind of things that they want to do. Um, really good to use for abstract art, things like Andy Warhol as well, which I will do another one on about how you can take your own photograph and make that into uh, some artwork as well instead of drawing. But you can also take a photograph and do that exactly the same. Um, this has got some really good uses as well across English, so you could draw or you could take a photograph of a face and have half a good character, half an evil character and then around the outside here where I've drawn that lightning bolt, the purple lightning bolt, you could have some words to describe that character, so you could have the good side, the evil side, really good way of building characters to use in some creative writing. Um, it's just got loads of uses and it's really quite simple and really effective and you don't really need anything at all. So. That's just a very, very quick intro with my very, very, very poor art skills about how to uh, make some very quick art using Keynote, especially good for transition day. Uh, any questions, just let me know, see, uh, and let your kids go and see how they get on and what they come up with. It really is a lot of fun, it's really quite effective and it makes a lovely display. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.